Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Monday, March the 26th, and today is the Feast of the Annunciation. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 110 and 132. John chapter 1, verse 9 to 14, and the Song of Mary. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our God said to my master, sit at my right hand. Psalms 110 and 132. Our God said to my master, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. God the Most High will send the rod of your strength out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people shall be willing to offer themselves in the day of your power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, you have the dew of your youth. Our God has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. With God at your right hand, you shall smite the kings in the day of God's wrath and rule over the nations, and God shall judge among the heathen. Remember David and all his afflictions, and how he swore unto you, and bowed unto the mighty God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Surely I will not come into the tent of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to my eyes, nor slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for you, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. We heard of the ark at Ephraca. We found it in the fields of the wood. We will go into your tabernacles. We will worship at your footstool. Rise, O beloved God, into your rest, you and the ark of your strength. And let your priest be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. For your servant David's sake, reject not your anointed. You have sworn an oath to David, of the fruit of your body will I set upon your throne. If your children keep my covenant and my testimony that I shall teach them, their children will also sit upon your throne forevermore. For you have chosen Zion, you have desired it for your habitation. This is my rest forever. Here will I dwell, for I have desired it. I will abundantly bless her and provide for her. I will satisfy her poor with bread. I will also clothe her priests with salvation, and her saints shall shout aloud for joy. There I will make the horn of David to bud. I have ordained a lamp for my anointed, his enemies will I clothe with shame, but upon him his crown shall flourish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our God said to my master, sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 1, beginning at verse 9. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, and yet the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become the children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. 
that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in the church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of St. Mary and all your saints in trusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Magnificat anima mea dominum. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. Magnificat anima mea dominum. You have done great things for me. Holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. In every generation, you have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. Magnificat anima mea dominum. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty-handed. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, so now and forevermore. Amen. Magnificat anima mea dominum. Bless Yahweh, my soul. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.